Hey guys, this is Auspicious Aussie and welcome back to another episode of my HSV series. This is episode 32 guys and I just want to take a little time out just to say thank you for your support on the videos, your views, your likes, your comments and of course subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot to me guys and I really do appreciate um, every single little detail that people give towards my channel. Um, it really does mean a lot. But let's get into today's um, episode. Um, let's get into the most recent fixtures, of course. As you can see, the last live con was the nil all draw, uh, the first clean sheet we've had since the very um, first game of this season. Um, this draw was an important one. Um, we had to pick up points against last place Spartak Moscow, and we did a point never. Uh, nonetheless, but still, led us into good stead. We then followed it up with a disappointing 2-0 loss at home to Leverkusen, who are in decent form at the moment. Um, Stefan Keebling and Andre Schrell, um getting Leverkusen's goals. Uh, the next game was against Nuremberg away from home, and uh, what a way to rebound. Marcus Berg picking up his hat-trick. Um, Gerard Bowen to get sent off, which was kind of disappointing as it left us a bit weak uh, in the next Bundesliga game without him there. But he was there for the Juventus game um, at home, uh, the reverse leg, of course. And as you can see, Beast opened the scoring in the fourth minute. Um, <laughs> we then went 3 0 up, 4 0 up actually, sorry. Berg got another hat trick. He's a bit of a hat trick here at the moment. Um, Ayogo then got a red card, a straight red, got sent off, we were down to 10 men, and then Juventus got two goals back through Manolo, uh, Manolo Giabondini. Yes. Um, and of course, disappointing result, after disappointing result in the first division, um, the Bundesliga, sorry. We lost away from home to St. Pauli. I mean, St. Pauli coming last, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they are coming last. And that leaves us currently in ninth, but really, really disappointing to lose to the team that's coming last. And of course, it was a Jorgen Anderson own goal. I mentioned about Bowen getting his red card and missing the next game, which would, of course, be that St. Paul game. And essentially, he probably cost us a game for picking up that red card in the previous game, which we were winning 3-0, which is unacceptable. Um, but of course, today we do have Schalke in the live com which is a pretty important game. Um, as you can see, I did say we are in ninth, but a win here today over Shocker could put us potentially back into top five contention, maybe sixth or seventh, somewhere around there, hopefully. But three points is a must. We are at home. Home form's been a bit depressing lately in the Bundesliga, so we definitely need to turn it around today. Um, yeah, but Schalke, they're, they're coming back recently. They ha they started the season off pretty poorly, whereas we started off decently, and they're just starting to, to find some form and recapture their form of last season. Whereas Dortmund at the top, they've been a bit rocky, and as you can see, Leverkusen are now caught up to them pretty much. Let's get into the live com then, shall we, guys? My former team, Schalke, it's going to be quite a game. Not going to change anything here. Just going to get straight into it. Let's do this, do this. Of course, lethal duo. Of course, Adam Nielsen is the player I brought into the club. Brought in Marco Marine as well. Give these fans their money worth. No reaction whatsoever. Arteta plays that wide. Lisevich inside. Lisevich shoots. Ooh, just over the bar. Good early shot. Good early shot. Juricek's a bit fatigued at the moment, so we might have to bring him off just after half time. Romeo, B star out wide. Leaves the ball behind. There you go now. Crosses. Oh! Almost went in from the cross, but that's a corner. There you go, swings it in. 
cleared away. That's the end of that highlight. Positive so far. We're looking the more likely corner. Romeo shoots on. Oh, good save, good save. Beast gets robbed. Romeo, that's the end of that highlight. Good chances in this first half. We should be should be in front. I think I think we deserve to be in front, but we aren't. So I'm gonna say unlucky so far. Hopefully we can just go out and just get that one goal we need and just hold on, which we haven't really done all season. Bowen clears. Beast they get there first. Oh, but he's lost it. Might make to look a sub, uh, make look to make a sub. Nice English. Adler now boots it up long. Berg on it. Romeo, Teta, Beaster, Beaster plays it back. Teta now. Berg. Juracek shoot. Oh, good save. Oh, oh, blocked by his own player. All right, we're gonna make a sub. We're gonna take Teta off. Put uh, Kalhanoglu on. We're also going to bring Lemzy Jin on for Ilicevic. This has been pretty poor. 6.2, that's it's not good enough to be honest. And he gets robbed, but Juracek wins the ball back. Bowen plays Romeo back to Adler. NCM. Romeo gets robbed. What is he doing there? What is he doing? Oh, come on! So pissed off. So pissed off right now. That is bullcrap. I'm really upset. I just I can't believe that it's that how could that happen? Get in, Berg, come on. How is their goalkeeper saving every shot? It's ridiculous. Come on boys, let's do this. At least get one back. Now Calhoun Oglu's injured. Jeez, can anything just go right for us? Move Jericho over. Sort those two around. If we don't get an equaliser, I'm going to be so angry. I'm going to call bullshit on this game. We don't even get another highlight. That's perfect. Mad. That's really great. Jury check now. Come on. Romeo. Shoot Romeo. Oh my god. Their goalkeeper saves again. Here we go. And did you know? Oh, it's cleared away. Come on, five seconds left. God damn it. Bull crap. No, I do not accept that. That is bull shit. Look at that. Look at that. We absolutely dominated the crap out of them, except for all shots on target. I remember there being more than four shots on target because their goalkeeper saved about seven shots. And we currently sit in ninth. Outright ninth. 
I don't. Oh, I don't accept that. It's unacceptable. That pisses me off so much. Anyway, guys, the next fixtures um, will be Hertha BSC, uh, the final group stage game against Barcelona at the Camp Nou. Um, Freiburg back in the Bundesliga. Then we have the German Cup third round, which will be against Nuremberg. Um, we then have the mid-season break, which will consist of five friendly games. Um, yeah, Orleans, Laurent Football, Jenk, SC Concordia, UPenn, uh, and FC Bayern. Um, I hope you guys join me back in the next episode, which will be a live com against Stuttgart. Of course, it is the return, uh, well, the second time we'll ver uh, be versing Stuttgart. And, of course, it will be at their home ground as the first time when we versed them was at our home ground. So, guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode and me getting really pissed off and angry, give the video a like rating. It will really help out. It might make me feel a bit better as well. I am currently sick as well, which is just makes everything worse. Um, so yeah, give it a like rating, guys. And of course, add it to your favorites. Every little ad helps, guys. And I don't know why you wouldn't have subscribed, but if you haven't, head to my channel and hit that subscribe button. Um, subscribers do mean a lot to me. They're just people that are subscribed, I feel like they're a part of my journey playing these games and, and whatnot, and they can just easily find my content that I put out daily guys two episodes daily not not a lot, a lot of other people do that and um, I've continued to do it for a long time so yeah guys I've been a special and goodbye